Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Sarah Jane Adventures Season 1, Episodes 3 and 4, The Eye of the Gorgon, which is directed by Alice Troughton. No relation to my man Patrick Troughton. I had to Google it to see if there was. Um, so this is a kind of cheesy story, you know, um, about this alien who could turn people into stone by looking at them. That's Gorgon. Uh, kind of like Medusa from Greek mythology, and I'm not that big of a fan of Greek mythology, but I still thought the monster was, you know, spooky. I would say this is my favorite episode so far, because it wasn't as, like, silly as the Slovene episode, and the um, pilot, the invasion of the Bane, was a little bit too goofy, like, but this one is much better for me. Um, uh, the story was really nice. I... I liked the Gorgon as villains, you know, the, like, the classic Doctor Who villain. Not kind of creepy, but not, like, terrifying, just normal creepy. What makes Doctor Who and, I guess, Sarah Jane Adventures 2 um, really accessible to kids is, like, when kids watch it, they think, ooh, we're watching something spooky, but it's nothing, like, that would traumatize anybody. It's more just kind of campy, silly fun, but it's also, like, you know, kind of spooky. Which I think is one of the main appeals to Doctor Who is that you could enjoy it as a whole family, and the Sarah Jane Adventures definitely does that. Um, I I like the characters a lot, you know. Um, while it's a kids show, and the main characters are all teenagers, I'm guessing maybe like thirteen or fourteen, they don't act really annoying, and they're really realistically written for teenagers, you know. They have like temple problems and they'll kind of they don't really take things as seriously as they should sometimes for Clyde naive like Luke so I think they're written re really realistically and acted well too it's hard to write a show about kids right you know um, I think like one of the few successful ones have been Stranger Things and Harry Potter and I think I'm going to add the Sarah Jane Adventures to the list they're not obnoxious they just feel like really well rounded characters but I think, you know, children deserve to have shows like that. That every show needs the characters to be, like, over-the-top and goofy, like, I call it, you know? I like shows where the teenage characters are handled a little bit more realistically, I guess. Not that you know, the situations they're in is realistic, because obviously there's a Gorgon, and it's torn the girl's dad in a stone, but the characters are written realistically, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I think I like the character development for Maria in this episode. You know, her mom's trying to connect to her, but she's still not over the fact that her mom kind of ran away and divorced the dad. And I really hate her mom. Like, I don't know if she's written like that on purpose, but she's just so, like, annoying and nosy. She kind of just broke into Sarah Jane's house. That was just weird. Like, who does that, you know? My neighbors were bad. Inclusion of the story to me felt a little bit rushed. You know, it's just like, oh, there you go, problem solved, save the day. But, you know, not as bad of a fendel as maybe some of the Chibnall's episodes. Like the Torchwood season one finale, where, like, the villain that's been built up to all season gets defeated, like, in minutes. Yeah, if I had any, like, big criticisms of this episode, I would say it's, like, the CGI, but, like, given that it's, you know, Doctor Who related, that's to be expected. Um, I just look past it and kind of embrace it because I do like some campy fun once in a while and those effects help perpetuate that. But yeah, like I said, all the old best episode yet that I've seen. Oh, well, this is only my third one. Um, I'm going to give it a C. Let me know what you guys thought of the comments down below and I'll see you guys next time for my review of Royals of Kudlak. So I don't know what that's about. Can't wait to find out. Peace.